Have you ever wanted to make a podcast and then you made a podcast, but then you realized how grossly unprepared you were? Because I feel like most people don't have that problem, but that's where I'm at right now. And oh boy, let me tell you, I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I should say welcome to the podcast, but you know, that feels a little too cliche, so I'm going to do it anyway. Welcome to Now You Don't Have To, a podcast I decided to make on a whim. Kind of a joke. And it's real now. Like a lot of things in life. I can make so many dark jokes about this, oh my goodness. But, I think that, I don't know, this will be something good, maybe. Maybe not. I don't have any plans. I don't know what I'm going to say, and I don't know for how long I should say it. Like, I feel like normal people talk for, like, at least two minutes, and I am at one minute. And, who oh boy. I don't know if I'm going to do any editing, because I thought I had editing software. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you how unprepared I am for this. I thought I had editing software, and I have this app on my computer that says, oh, it's editing software, right? And so I'm like, okay, let's test that out. Well, guess what? I need a code for that. And I'm like, oh God, I don't have that. So I'm looking through all of my boxes and stuff, looking for a authorization code for this stupid audio thing. And I cannot find it. So now I don't know how I'm gonna edit this. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use this. I don't know if you can hear my voice right now, but you know, whatever, man. Welcome to the podcast. You see, my thought behind this podcast was I would do a bunch of random stuff and then talk about it so that you, the view, well, no, it's more like a listener. Oh my goodness. You, the listener, the audience, the one person, probably my mom who's listening to this would not have to hence the name now you don't have to and a lot of this is I'm not really planning anything because I'm not that smart when it comes to things you should be smart at like I can man quadratic formula boom got that um how to talk to people in a social setting oh goodness no like who boy my chill is fake everyone you will talk to me be like, oh, hey, yeah, there's that kid. And they know how to talk to people. No, that is a lie. I don't even know how to talk to a microphone. Like, oh, I don't even know. Again, I'm hoping that this is picking up the audio. But again, we don't know. And I don't know. I think this is going to be a learning experience for me and for you whether or not you should be putting your time into this I think you're gonna learn hmm this is a person I should not listen to they have no oh my goodness I can't even say sentences right they have nothing going for them man oh boy nah so if you've made it this far wow good job you see I feel like I'm just talking in circles and that's kind of fun I guess people are kind of into that but man, why are you still listening? This is a podcast where I'm going to insult the audience because who boy, why? I don't know, it's kind of fun talking into this microphone. I feel like a cool kid for once in my life. Like, oh my goodness, I have something going for me. I just probably ruined everything, oh my goodness. I, it's like I have something going for me, but in reality, I'm just talking in an empty house. It's possibly haunted, so that's fun, but you know, we all do crazy nonsense, I guess. Welcome to the podcast. Don't know how long it'll be, don't know for who it will be, but you're here. You're listening. And I am so sorry for that fact. I don't know what else to say. I feel like this is a lament of most 
podcast people. I mean, I don't have like a script or anything. So I'm kind of just talking and it's kind of nice because, I mean, there's nobody home right now at my house. So nobody's here to listen to me and be like, oh my goodness, what the heck are you doing with your life? But... I mean, I do have my dogs who are probably judging me, but they do that anyway, so that's fine. But it's a good time. I feel like a cool kid. I don't actually feel like a cool kid anymore. If I said that, I rescind that because, who oh boy, I know how lame I actually am. And it's actually pretty cool. You know, when you know how lame you are, you kind of get a sense of, like, oh... It's like opposite of nar. It's like narcissism. Nar. Oh, oh boy. Oh goodness, narcissism. Oh man, I can't pronounce anything. But it's like it's humbling. It's like modesty is the word. Oh boy, got it. All right, ten points for me. Um, you got this sense of like modesty, but it's not like you're like, mm, I can't do that. And so bragging about it and lying would just. Oh, goodness, I smacked a wire. Lying about the thing would be worse. And so, like, claiming you're cool and, like, oh, hey, look at me go. Like, oh, my goodness. Nobody does that. I mean, if you do that, you should stop because nobody likes people who do that. And you're eventually going to lose your all your friends anyway, so you might as well get it over with. I am terrible at advice. Comment down below. I'm just kidding. Don't. But, um... I was going to say, comment down below terrible advice you want from me and I will do it. But no, please don't. Oh my God, I'm the worst person for that. I am not experienced enough for any of this. But, you know, I don't even know if this audio is still recording. Oh yeah, look at it. This is probably the worst thing to listen to and I'm going to have to listen to it. Oh God, I am so sorry. If you're still, why are you still listening? You have so many better things. There's not even any music in here. I thought about that, actually. I thought about making some music because I'm always afraid to use other people's music because I'm like, ooh, copyright. How does that work? I don't know. I don't want to deal with it. So I was thinking, ooh, maybe I can make some music, right? But I can't. So I used to be able to play the violin, but currently my violin is missing a string, so that's out. I have a kazoo. But I feel like that's where the sentence should end. Just, I have a kazoo, and that's it. I'm not going to use it for some intro, outro, whatever music. That would be terrible. Oh my goodness. I don't even, it's in the other room right now. Like, that's just wowza. Back to the cool kid conversation and bringing up the kazoo into it. I'm just that weird kid. I carry a kazoo with me everywhere I go because I'm like, just in case. Like, some people have a first aid kit or like an inhaler or something because they're like, oh, just in case I cut myself, paper cut, whatever, or oh, just in case um, air quality is bad and I get an asthma attack. I have a kazoo just in case I need to party. And nobody likes the guy who parties with the kazoo. That's the weird thing. For some reason, I think it's going to work and make me, like, a cool kid. But another part of me, the more rational and logical side of me, knows nobody wants to hang out with that kid. They just like to laugh at that kid. And that's that's fine. I don't know. See, I like to laugh at myself because, I mean, I, I'm pretty funny, you know. I, I, I'm not. But I like to think I am. And so the kazoo has really, I feel like it's molded my persona. Like when I was younger, I would be like, oh, I don't want to be that weird kid. Oh, I don't want to be the one who is, oh my goodness, no, I don't want to be the one who stands out. Ah, but now I have a kazoo and I carry it with me everywhere. So I think I'm a little bit past that. And like... Once you start carrying a kazoo with you everywhere, your life changes. Things, trivial things, like when you say, when somebody's like, you're like at a restaurant and a waiter's like, enjoy your meal. And you're like, oh, you too. And you're like, oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. Once you start carrying a kazoo, you just think, well, I'm the guy who carries a kazoo. So like, really, 
do I have any reason to judge myself? And that kind of helps. Psychology of carrying a kazoo. You know, if you're still listening by now, which I don't know why, but if you are, you should start carrying around a kazoo. Because one, it is freaking hilarious when somebody's like, wow, um, man, I don't, I don't even know how to preface this, but you just pull out a kazoo out of like thin air and you're like, hey, and you just start playing a kazoo. And then it's like, it changes your life, first of all, but it also, like, I feel like mostly for the worse, because people, you'll find, stop talking to you, which, I mean, they're going to do that anyway. Might as well be authentic with your kick-ass kazoo. But it also, people learn to take you less seriously, and then there's less expectations on you. And that is nice, let me tell you. So, if you're feeling down, just go get a kazoo. I don't even know where they sell kazoos. Like, I got this one at a birthday party, which is wild. Like, oh, weird kid with a kazoo. All right, where'd you get it? Birthday party. You don't normally tell people that. But carrying around a kazoo has changed my life. As will this podcast, probably. I don't know how I got to a kazoo. Oh, my goodness. But thank you for listening. I don't know why you're listening, unless you're my mother. Hey, Mom. Um, If you like what you saw, that's a lie, because you didn't see anything, and um, it's only audio. From some random place in my house. Thanks for listening. I don't know how to do an outro. Bye. Shit, I missed the button to stop recording. Bye.